with Lucy from Little Rock Equine. So we're doing this video today because we are getting to the time of year, thanks to the wonderful British spring time, of high laminitis risk in our horses and ponies because we are going from warm to wet to warm to sunny to wet and back again. <laughs> so we're all experiencing quite significant grass flourishes therefore the sugar content in our grass is getting very high very quickly. Um, laminitis is a big problem in the equine population of the UK uh, regardless of size. Obviously our small native ponies and um, heavier built horses are always slightly higher at risk but just because you might be a 15 hand thoroughbred does not mean that you are uh, safe and clear. We still have to be very careful about the sugar intake. What we would like to talk about today is making sure that we manage our grazing time, our access to grass, all these things that can trigger sugar spikes and as a result insulin spikes because if we get uncontrolled insulin levels or too much of a significant insulin spike due to a high sugar intake this will result in laminitis and inflammation in the feet of our horses and ponies. Um, if you feel like your horse or pony has been out on grass or had access to fresh grazing and looks to be pottery or rocking back on their heels, sweating a bit or, um, or don't appear to be moving 100% but you're not quite sure where, all of these things can be indicators of either a laminitic flare-up or the start of early laminitis and the faster and sooner we can get on top of it the better and the better the prognosis is for your horse or pony. In our older population we always have to be aware of Cushing's disease as that makes them um, more susceptible to laminitis due to their hormonal imbalance um, and we also need to bear in mind the hormonal imbalance with equine metabolic syndrome which is similar to type 2 diabetes in humans. Um, this is more common in our smaller ponies, our horses and ponies that hold large areas of fat, so cresty necks, big shoulders, apple bottoms um, of any age. Uh, if they appear to be holding on to these areas of fat despite best efforts for diet control, exercise etc. Um, it might be worth double checking whether or not we have an underlying problem there because again if we have got equine metabolic syndrome or Cushing's disease or both that puts us on a very fine knife edge um, for our laminitis risk and therefore the severity, the severity and strictness of the management that we will need to do for these individuals. Um, any worries about laminitis or your horse or pony whether it is to prevent laminitis or if you feel like they might be starting or suffering with it please feel free to give us a call and we can go through details of diet management stable management turnout routine any of these things we're more than happy to discuss it with you guys and uh, and we'll make the best plan for you and your horse or pony or herd whatever suits if you have any questions off today's video, feel free to give us a call and we will go through it with you in more detail.